Alright guys, um, Steve here with another video. This one is on a ROM I'm running, the MIUI ROM. Um, it is a very popular ROM that's available across most devices. I think when it comes to popularity, it's right up there with um, Cyanogen mod. So um, it's very popular. I ran the free launcher on the Android Marketplace, which basically allows you to try out for free. Um, and I liked it, but it wasn't working well with the One X because the launcher, the lock screen was conflicting with the default lock screen. So what I did was flash the ROM RDMIUI. The experience was good enough that I decided I would try the ROM, which will obviously have more features. So I flashed it, and this is RDMIUI for Android. It was ported by some guy named Dekian XDA Forms. Um, so you can check it out. Their official website is en.miui.com, and to get the one for the one X you probably go to XDA developers. So one thing about the MIUI is that it's very um, customizable. There are tons of themes for it, lock screens. You realize the lock screen is animated. Um, it's very cool. This one is an Angry Birds theme. So usually the themes I seem to have a bit of issue on login. The themes tend to um, change a lot of stuff on the phone, icons, the wallpaper and um, yeah, as you can see here, the device is buttery smooth. I watched your product butter video, and this is the first thing that came to mind. Look at this. This is fast. Hardware accelerated, completely smooth. Um, the way they do folders are interesting as well. I'm going to turn off the this theme so you can get an idea of what it looks like stock. Um, so basically, it has a ton of themes um, available for download, and they're all pretty cool from what I've seen so far. I think this is the original theme. I have quite a few installed, so hard for me to tell what's the original. This is the original theme. Here you go. So um, yeah, so far it's been very fast. Um, they have implemented some back of features of the HTC originally, like the contacts, the camera, um, other little things that would have come start with the um, the sense experience. So this is it here. These are how the folders look. Um, the bar at the bottom is customizable. It uses their own customizable notification area which has toggles which is what I missed from the sense I mentioned that in my sense review it was lacking the toggles the notification works the same way interestingly enough you notice on some apps with the One X you got this black bar at the bottom which is the menu button what they did is they remapped the key here to um, the menu button and for the task manager, you'll press the home key. They changed up the task manager a bit to blend with their theme. I kind of like the HTC one because it looks cooler, but this one is pretty good as well. Um, so there are quite a bit of options and customizations. There's actually a band called Themes as well. They have this Dahamanta. It's pretty cool. I haven't started using it yet. But they tend to have this nice white looking um, interface. It's very clean. They have a bunch of apps. Um, security based apps that come with it. Um, one that every time I install an app it basically asks me if I trust this app etc. Um, they have monitoring for apps with root permissions. You can manage root permissions. Um, it tells you what permissions apps are trying to get. There's this other app called Guard. Also it's a firewall app so it allows you to block certain apps from leaving um, the connecting to the internet just in case. Uh, you don't want them to connect or you don't want stuff to get in. It, it works very nicely in that regard. It usually has custom icons as well that look very cool. So I'm going to just pop into some of the themes I have because I can't get over the speed of this. It's very, very fast ROM. Um, right, so we look at some of the themes and the associated lock screens. This one here is called Evolver. Um, actually, I just don't know this. I don't even know what it looks like. You can see a plenty of themes, it's fairly painless. You just go into the theme manager, you download. Um, usually, uh, you will see the theme changes the icons, it changes the way the folder. Well, this one doesn't really change the way the folders look, but you notice all the icons are different. The YouTube icon is different. Let's see if we get the focus. Um, and still have the same smoothness. The lock screen is the more, the more notable changes. So, you have this nice, cool, elegant, very simple lock screen. Yeah, I swipe down to a lot. Alright, so let's look at another one. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, this Molten Lava one. I haven't tried it out either. I just downloaded it. I'm not sure if this is a full theme or if this is just a lock screen, but either way, we'll take a look at it. 
but it's really if you really want to have an ass, uh, get on the forum on um, the Android R.I. Barbados. A bit of a fanboy, um, forgive him, but he's saying that there are other themes, out, there are other ROMs that look better than MIUI. I would dispute that. MIUI has the best looking, um, this one is based on the HTC lock screen, by the way, as you can tell. This ROM has the best looking themes of any um, ROM you're going to find out there. So that one there was just a lock screen. Those are some of the ones I downloaded. So you're not going to find a more visually intensive UI anywhere on any other ROM. As good as the Android mod is, is basically a assault ROM. We have the, the standard stock look of um, ice cream sandwich. And some people like that, some people don't. This one has the icon so like the burst not the paper, which is a very nice, a very cool look. It's pretty epic. Let's check out the lock screen. So yeah, the lock screen here has the time in hand right in. And the unlock animation is this piece of paper that you pull back. Slide it on a lock. Well, I'm getting a lot of issue on like, I'm not sure if it's because I'm charging or what. But as you can see, the show you the charging meter at the bottom. Battery is low. I'm going to unplug the phone to see if this is what is causing the issue. I'm hold it up right in my hand. Well, I seem to be having some, a lot of issue. I'm going to clean my screen. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna relock it and try again. Seems to be, I can feel it like slipping from under my finger. There you go. So I'm um, not sure what happened there, but <laughs> yeah. The folders are these little wrong things, which are pretty cool. The yeah, MIUI is supposed to have better battery life than um, stock sense as well because it isn't using um, a lot of the, the weight that sense usually has coming with it. So, yeah, and when you open the folders, you'll notice it draws a circle and it undraws it. So, has a lot of neat little animations um, in it as well. I'm going to keep going through the themes. So hopefully, we don't have any other lock screen problems. The theming program just crashed. I'm going to relaunch it. So, hopefully, without any other hindrances, we'll be able to move on. I showed the Angry Birds one. Um, I haven't checked this one out quite yet. This is supposed to be some sort of. Chinese influence theme as this is a Chinese ROM so we would find Chinese influence themes. Alright, so the theme is applied. As you can see we have that nice red yellow Chinese look going to it. Now um because this ROM here isn't it doesn't support the four version four themes, we won't get like um usually the the theme the dialer, all of this would have been themed and the contacts and stuff in the music player but because this ROM doesn't support the version 4 themes yet we won't see that um, now the lock screen uh, as you can see is very nice the little ball is animated not quite sure what is the ah pull down to unlock for this one yeah so it's a very nice looking lock screen they always tend to have these little animated features to make it look very very um, pristine and clean I'm um, going through some more themes. Um, I'm gonna go through a bit more. I have this One Piece one I haven't tried. I'm a recently started watching One Piece. I'm on like episode 300 or something like that. So I checked out the One Piece themes. So yeah, you have your um, watery background, which is appropriate. The straw hat pirate symbol. The um, little icons that are part of the series that if you New the series, you would know what they meant, like the slug beam for the phone, going merry contacts, Usopp's weapon for the camera, etc, etc. But you realize they do frame the folders nicely, as well as put these little circular things underneath the icons. And uh, yeah, you can see the icons are all based from the series. It looks pretty nice, because everything is themed to match, which is what really stands out for this. And then you have the lock screen, which is pretty basic, just a wallpaper. Alright, so, um, yeah, next theme. Next theme I downloaded was, um, let's try this one here. That's a pretty simple looking one, it's very, uh, white. A very white looking theme. Lock and unlock. Alright, so you can see that I have another very nice, very simple, very elegant lock screen. Very low warning. This one's a swipe away like how Samsung's lock screens are, Windows phone lock screens are. 
So we swipe away. I see the UI. UI has some very nice looking curvy icons. Reminds me of the N9. Very nice looking. And there are different transitions. This is the one I like because it just looks so smooth. Um, I can show you another one um, just to show. Are these are the launcher size? Um, transition effects. Let me put 3D cube as a classic one. Alright, so you can see even the 3D cube how fast it is. Look at that. That's freaky. <laughs> Oh, the frame rate is ridiculous. This reminds me of Project Bar. <laughs> Let's try another one. They're not that many or not as many as other launchers. They don't know the launcher and the Apex are a lot more. But any day, it doesn't matter how many it has because we're only going to use one. Um, this one is called Page. This is kind of like a page turning effect. But I mean, you can see the frame rate on this and you can see how fast this is running. I'm going to go back to one that I like, uh, which is one of these. Um, I'm gonna go back with rotation for now. Alright, so you got the rotation. Um Alright, I'm just gonna show you another theme. I like this theme here, it's very really nice and clean. Very nice looking. Um I haven't tried this one. This will be the last one I show you. There are too many, too too many available and all these themes I don't want to within the past like hour. There's just that many and they all look cool. I mean you could rock a different look to your phone and you feel like it if you're going out, you know, you're gonna be rocking. <laughs> not necessarily same into access the reason, but if you know you're gonna be rocking a particular type of gear, particular style, particular type of event. So for example you're going to anime con well, this one is cool. When you touch it, it the eye lights up on the dragon and you can drag it to whatever quick icon you need. So you can get started your camera, your chat messages, your phone, etc. Or to the home screen. And it has a nice classy elegant red look. This is I, I could say, in terms of visuals, this ROM is the best looking ROM I've ever seen. And I still can't decide on a theme to stick with. So I may be swapping themes quite, quite regularly. So this is a quick look at MIUI ROM. Um, there are probably more things about the ROM that I don't know. Oh, the music player is pretty epic as well. Um, very visual, large buttons, sort by artist, and you can also sort by folder. Um, it's very nice, very, very nice uh, music player has. Alright, so um, yeah, it maintains the traditional as you see camera, gallery, contacts, etc. etc. So it's definitely um, something you may want to check out if you really want it up fast, um, you want more battery life, you want a better performance. If it's even you're interested in getting some themes and having your device look different every now and then, this is definitely one I recommend highly. Not even sure I'll be trying out any other ROMs other than MIUI because I've been through so many ROMs and so many phones I had, and a lot of the ROMs are just brought across from the older devices to or the other devices to the newer ones. So, this is one very long standing ROM that has been out there. Um, well, I said also themes to make your devices look like other devices. There's one for Motor Blur if you really love Sense, there's one for Sense as well, there's one for TouchWiz, this is the one for the uh, buses passing. Forgive me. Let it pass, let it pass. Alright, this is the one for the Sony Xperia phone. So if you have an Xperia phone, this will look very familiar to you. Um, especially the lock screen. I had an Xperia X10 for a little bit. Um, so yeah, I actually still have it. So this is the lock screen for the Sony style devices. So you can have many various, multiple epic looks for your device. I'm going to decide on one right now. That last red one was really cool. But I'm going to go with this simple, nice, elegant white one for now. So, yep, that's Capitan Fung out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, I know a lot of you guys watch the videos, share it, talk about it, but you never click like. So click like on my damn video, please. Have a nice day.